final leg of our South Island trip and then we're wrapping it up with a road trip. So we've got a rental car, we picked it up yesterday. Today we've just left Queenstown, we're about 20 minutes into the trip already and today what we're going to be doing is um, heading to the Hooker Valley Track which is one of the most popular like walks to do in New Zealand. Not just because of the views but because I think the incline is relatively like relatively easy even though it's 10 kilometers round trip it's kind of a, a bit of a glacier walk you get a view of Mount Cook and from what we've seen there's a couple of suspension bridges and stuff that you go over but it's just it's just supposed to be absolutely beautiful and I mentioned in our last video as well the stretch of road that we're driving from here to to the walk which is about three hours is just some of the most impressive scenery that we've seen anywhere in the world So we've been driving for about two or three hours now and it was so beautiful driving through Lindis Pass. We pulled over at one point at the summit and you could just see like all the way down the valley with this cloud coming in. Yeah, it was rolling cloud. Yeah, right? so beautiful. Such a nice drive. But we're in Twizel now and we've just stopped at a place called Hydro Cafe for some brunch. I got some fruit toast with some honey and butter. Dane got a bacon and egg pie <laughs> or some tomato sauce and we just got a couple of flat whites as well. We're probably just going to stop here for a little bit and then get on the road again to get to Hooker Valley. I couldn't help myself though. I haven't seen, I don't know if it's a kiwi dish or not, but bacon and egg pie. Is it kiwi? Yeah. I, don't know. I just feel like I haven't seen it anywhere else in the world and when I went inside it was like all I knew, I, knew, I needed some sustenance before we basically got on the road. Well, we've got about, it was about 40 minutes more driving before we do like a three or four hour hike. So I was like, I need something hearty. And then I saw this in the cabinet and I was like, kiwi, we're going to try it. Mm. Just like I remember. That's actually a chutney. <laughs> I thought that would be some Waddy's tomato, tomato sauce. But it's actually not, it's a chutney. But it, like it literally is just chunky egg, bacon, some butter and some cheese and everything <laughs> just wrapped into a beautiful crispy parcel. <laughs> I think I might need a hat for our, uh, our little hike we're about to do. I'm thinking this is the way to go. I'm thinking I'm not going to be seen with you either. Really? I think this is a winner because it solves the problem at the front. You get the face coverage and then you got the mullet at the back which protects the neck. Which is the real problem area, you know, this is the kind of place that you really need to make sure that you pay attention to Otherwise it sneaks up on you, you get red, get the peeling, it's not the way you want to go <laughs> $17.90, should we get it? Hmm. I think it looks mint, maybe just flatten this out <laughs> be far off now we're literally just in a valley surrounded by mountains on the majority of the side and then a lake out that way which takes us some really interesting info on as well what was the story with the lake back there um so it's a really unique color it's like a turquoise color and i was reading that's because of something called glacier flower like f-l-o-u-r glacier flower yeah and it's like basically made up of really fine rock that's come down from the glacier and like settled in the lake and it's also the largest lake in the Mackenzie region which is the region we're in now i'm getting jealous because i keep hearing these planes and helicopters you can oh, come and do like scenic flights up around through but it's just so green i feel like we're in um middle earth Lord, Lord of the Rings reference. Oi. I've never seen it. Haven't either. seen that in about <laughs> 10 years. Can't remember a thing, but still, I remember that one line. Well, I won the debate and the hat came with us. Oh, how <laughs> embarrassing. It's brilliant. Look, it's a party in the back there. It's so oh, much. Hang on, I need to do this up for you. So much protection. You've What's got, that? Like, this big dark crow bit like, hanging out. Hang on a second. You might be able to tell from our lack of equipment and our, and our gym clothing mm -hmm. that hiking isn't exactly our typical weekend activity. No, it's definitely not. But this is something that we've really wanted to do. Stace, Stace found it and you showed me some photos, eh? And I was just yeah. like, shit, we've got to take so the chance. Nice. I'm already puffing though. <laughs> We're like two minutes in. <laughs> so it's the sign back there said an hour and 35 minutes. One way. And that's to get to the lake, which will then have the best view 
back up. You can see plenty of snow in the backdrop here, but it's still much the same, very green. It's looking like a lovely start. Very busy though. Yeah, we really struggled to find a car park. So we pulled in about 1 p.m. So we knew it would be kind of busy, but because it's a campsite as well, like there's just big camper vans everywhere. Yeah, should be right. It's at that point where everybody's just pretty much parking anywhere, everywhere, sideways, yeah. on banks, reversed into work. trees, <laughs> like anywhere in a bush just to basically park up. All right. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, First it? suspension bridge. <laughs> wow. bridge it's a bit noisy whoa it is actually really bouncy I like this stuff though I don't know if everybody else would be quite quite as comfortable with it we saw one post where somebody had mentioned online that when they went over this first bridge that they had noodle legs was the word but look at this let's say it again I'm just so proud that this is New Zealand Wow! so cool it is a bit nerve-wracking being in the middle above Raging rapids. Rapids, yeah. And the, the, Stage the... four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about rapids. <laughs> We're at the point now where we can see Mount Cook just bing, popped She's up around beautiful. a corner once we came around. So, Mount Cook is actually New Zealand's tallest mountain. It lies in the Southern Alps and I think I read somewhere that as of 2014 the height of it was like over 3,700 meters so it's getting it's up there cool. I don't know if there's any uh, is there any snowboarding or anything on it is it, I don't know if it's actually a ski field I don't think so but a lot of people climb it I think um, Sir Edmund Hillary used that as like training before he climbed um, Mount Everest. Everest yeah we actually saw on this mountain back here, we actually heard something, we were like, oh, people in helicopters, they're so lucky. And then, because it's quite busy, you can see the people were constantly walking around. Um, we thought, well, how are helicopters, they're so lucky up there kind of thing, maybe we should have looked at doing something like that. And then we realised it wasn't a helicopter, it was an avalanche. So I kind of filmed a little bit too late, but I could see... It was, yeah, I spotted some like smokiness and it, it, was, uh, it wasn't a waterfall, which is what it looked like. It was, yeah, some snow coming down, but looking at Mount Cook here, Man, there is like three or four shelves. main patches in particular. Yeah. Shelves, did you say? Yeah, Mate, she... uh, I think the technical term is avalanche shelves. Yeah, a couple of avo shells just ready to pop. <laughs> you can tell that we're not hikers, eh? <laughs> we made it. Oh, finally. There's ice. There's like little mini icebergs in the lake. Oh. This is brilliant. Wow. Oh, there's actually quite a few down that end as well. Oh, yeah. I'm not really sure what to do now that we've made it here. No, neither. <laughs> Other than sit on a rock and kind of take in, Have a little take in the views. I feel like we've earned the chance to sit down. But that yeah. wasn't actually difficult at all, really, was no, it? No, it wasn't. And I guess that's why it's so popular with everyone, because it is quite an easy hike. Like mm. we've seen um, parents with kids and older people all ages eh? all ages yeah. in fact it's not i mean it's called a hike it really is a walk it's, it's a like walk. a trail walk it's kind yeah. of uneven surface but other than a few semi almost rolled ankle situations <laughs> which is just from me being clumsy yeah. uh it's been really chill but yeah. i if i was to either rate it or hate it i need to come up with a better name for that but yeah. i'm gonna go definitely rate it this yeah. was was lots of fun it's been nice too because we've done a lot of driving through the scenery but mm. to actually be in amongst it and be you feel so small in a mm. place like this you can hear a helicopter in there as well there's somebody up there now looking down and we're just like ants in the time. scale of things <sighs> 
we powered through the last half of that that the return leg. I think we did it in under an hour. Yeah, we did. Smash through it, and then it's kind of been an hour or so drive to now. We're at Lake Tekapo. It's funny because we can literally see, like, we had to drive in and around. What was the other lake yeah, called it's, again? Uh, Pukaki. And we would just. Like if there was a bridge, it would have taken 13 minutes to drive directly to where we are, but we've just been over an hour driving the whole way around. Very inconvenient, but it is beautiful. <laughs> Definitely. It's time for some uh, food, for sure though. And ideally a beer as well. I'm starving. Yeah, me too. We've earned this. <laughs> well, that might be the biggest burger I've ever had. But not the best. But not the best at all. Mm. We just spent 60, $62 on a couple of drinks and chips and two uh, family sized burgers, but they're just a bit sloppy and a bit messy. No. And not so great. So we're on the way to our Airbnb and we're hoping that this cute ish little Kiwi Isn't, Batch yeah, cottage we've booked. A little cottage in the middle of nowhere. We're hoping that that is going to be the improvement that we need, but to be honest, like my eyes, I feel tired. Yeah, it's been a long day, so I think we're both ready to just get to our little cottage and... Mm. Well, it's almost 6 o'clock and we left this morning at 7. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, so cute. I mean, we're staying in the middle of bloody nowhere, <laughs> but... <laughs> wow, I think that's the place, isn't it? Oh, the key's in the it. door. Oh, there's a lockbox and the key's in the door! That's full Kiwi for you. Literally, the keys are just hanging there. So funny. Yeah, we're in the middle of like nowhere. I don't know how or why we booked this, but it's a cute little place and it's just a stop before we head on to Christchurch tomorrow, which we would not be filming because we're going off to see some friends. We've made our way up to Christchurch. We've got another sunny day. We're staying with our friends Erin and Stefan. We're getting a little bit of a tiki tour around the city today. The earthquakes here were pretty enormous about 10 years ago and a lot of the city was destroyed. But with that sadness, like it's kind of cool to walk around now and see that they've had the chance to rebuild a lot of it. And all of these places back here, they've got these awesome walking streets, drinking districts, food districts, new shopping zones. 